What's up guys, it's Zigzag here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some more jewels back on the road to the top 10 in the world. So we are currently sitting in roughly the top 1000 in the world, sitting at a 1000 rating, and uh, we won 4 games and out of 6 in the last episode, so I think we can go for a bit more of a strong result this time. I want 100% wins. I mean, obviously it's not necessarily possible depending on who you face, but let's get straight into the first game. And so we're facing I Drink Mercury here, who is 960 rated. This one's obviously somewhere in Tunisia, and uh, I would say it's fairly southern here, although I'm not entirely sure how southern. Well, really wrong part of the world I was looking at there, but Sfax seems like a decent option here and ends up being in Montessor, so uh, Monastia, so yeah, not too bad. So 60 points damage is not a bad result there. Next one here, we should be somewhere in Eastern Europe, and uh, I would say somewhere in uh, which country makes the most sense here? Maybe Bulgaria or is that actually gonna be some Romanian, I think? Even though we have round poles, would that make sense here? Okay, well, I could be wrong, but I think that's a romance language and I think those street signs do make kind of make sense for Romania. So let's go on Romania here and see. And it does end up being in Romania and he actually gets a really, really nice guess, but I, uh, my guess is also great as well, 70 kilometers away. So not really a bad result there at all. And uh, I think I should really put, be putting the pressure on people. That's often when I get these fast knockouts. So let's see what we've got going on here. Yellow outside the line. This is interesting. Um, I'm actually not so sure about the country here. I think it's South Africa. Yeah, it's kind of a strange round, I must admit. Yeah, it is South Africa here. I think it's kind of coastal, so it's kind of like south of Durban here. Um, this is kind of like white, like sand on the side of the road. Reminds me of the coast, and it is a lot further south than the coast, so a good 550 points damage there is respectable, but definitely could have gotten closer. And so this one, we have a short white number plate, no blue strip. Thinking of Portugal or probably Greece here. I think Greece makes a lot of sense. We do have wooden poles that are pretty tall. So I'm just going to go for it here. Might have picked an island, to be honest. Um, I do think the island is possible here, especially with the lack of blue strips. I feel like that's more common over there. Doesn't feel like the biggest place, although it probably isn't an island now that I look around. It is quite a vast landscape. Like this hill is quite a long way away. So it just ends up being right near Athens there. A good guess. He goes Romania. So that's 1.6k damage. Definitely nothing to be sneezed at. And we move on to the healing round. I think this is just going to be somewhere in Kyrgyzstan with the red strip on the plate right here. So obviously we just go straight in because we're near full health and we will gain all our points back. The question is, can he? The answer is probably he's going to get rather close. Um, and uh, he goes in Europe. Amazing. He didn't actually know the car matter. So we retain our nice little lead here. Um, putting the pressure on really worked. And he went Albania, which is the other country that sometimes uses red strips on the plate. So I guess that makes a bit of sense. But okay, next one here, we should be somewhere in, without an antenna, I'm pretty sure this will be somewhere in Southern Serbia or North Macedonia. I'm just gonna go in quickly here. Hopefully he doesn't know about that. And so it does end up being in Southern Serbia, right on the Kosovo border there. And so he goes in Ukraine and we get a good amount of damage there. This is definitely going to plan this one. This episode starting perhaps a bit better than the last one did. And double damage here, we are in... Oh, where's this car again? Is this an American car, I think? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Or is it Kenyan? Maybe these trees look more Kenyan. I think these trees look more Kenyan, right? Pretty sure this is Kenya. Uh, sun is also really hard to read. I'm pretty sure this isn't US, but I guess we'll die if it is. Um, and so let's just go in the desert here, I guess. It was Kenya, nice. It was actually Northern Kenya. I'll try and remember that next time. Here's a Mongolia guess, it's okay, but yeah, that is gonna be the game right there, of course. And uh, I'm glad I remembered that. We moved 13 points up and we are going pretty strong here. So at the end of the episode, I'll, I'll give an update on uh, what number of the world we're sitting at because that is definitely what we want to keep an eye on here. We're facing the same guy. Uh, this one should be somewhere in Iceland, I imagine. Yeah, no blue strips, so immediately going for Reykjavik here. Uh, a bit of Capital City Guesser, the classic world map tactic. But yeah, he should get this if he's looking at number plates. I mean, there's blue text, but no blue strips. Although, urban Reykjavik can look quite Swedish or something like that, so I could imagine him going there. But uh, okay, he uh, he does, he does actually manage to get it. Indeed, only a little bit further away than I was. Uh, so we do one point of damage there. And this one should be a straight like Australia or is it Costa Rica? I can't actually tell which it would be. Uh, plates are short. It will be Australia. I think it's going to be Queensland. I'm just going to go straight for Brisbane here. This is the type of round where we could do significant damage. So I feel like going quickly is definitely the best play here. I think Brisbane is correct because we have these white no stopping signs, which would be red in New South Wales. And then we have white number plates as well. And then uh, we also have a short reflector on this bollard here. It does end up being in Brisbane. Sydney is not a bad guess though. So he's not going to lose too many points there. And so next one here, we should be somewhere in, is this Ghana? or something actually. The road lines kind of look Ghana to me. It's no Ghana at all. Uh, so where are we then? It's uh, Brazil. Okay, it's Brazil and it's northern with the white dirt then. So I'm going to go Maranhão near Sao Luis. A lot of times white dirt is found up there. Hold up. Okay, where's the sun? Yeah, it was actually up there. Okay, it, the uh, poles were very thin. 
for, for Brazilian standards. He goes Mexico, which is fully understandable. Uh, the politics are also strange, so I, I, uh, I, uh, I definitely did think it was Brazil, but I was not sure uh, 100%. This one should be somewhere in Taiwan, I believe. Uh, do we have a Taiwanese poll there? Maybe I should just go in quickly so he can't get there. Um, could this be wrong? It could also be like South Korea or something, I guess. Um, no, it was just Taiwan. Okay, very good guess there. That was actually kind of a difficult no moving round, but actually it was long antenna, so it could never be South Korea. Um, long antenna is something you do see quite a lot in the Generation 3 Taiwan coverage. Yeah, this one should be Mexico. Do we have any ele electricity counters? We do, so yeah, I think I'll just go Mexico City here real quick. So yeah, these, these round electricity counters are Mexican, and unfortunately he gets the maximum here. He gets 1,200 points healing. So he's still in the game. He's definitely still in the game. Uh, and let's, uh, let's uh, pull some more good guesses here. This one's Taiwan, an 8-3 number. I think that would mean Southern, um, but I'm actually not really sure how it works. I'm just going to try Southern here for the, for the fun of it but I'm um, really not sure. Oh, 03 actually, so it should, probably should be somewhere around uh, like this kind of area here, and we'll lose a bit of points damage here, unless he also goes southern, we'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, it's actually all the way north, so not the best guess there. Again, he's actually gonna do significant damage here, 900 points. Should not really be losing around like that, but fortunately it's just Taiwan. Uh, that's why I was willing to take the risk, I guess. This one should be uh, Sri Lanka though. I think this is the type of round we just go super quick and hope for the best, because he might not realize it's slow cam, in which case we may, might do huge damage. But I think there's enough language here and all that kind of thing. Dot LK as well. That you will just go Colombo and uh, yeah, so both within 15 kilometers there. A nice result. And then we move up to 2.5 times damage. Okay, next one here, we have blue strips on the plates. We are in Europe. I'd say this is like a uh, Bulgaria or something. Okay, we have a uh, Holy Poles. So I guess this is like, um, I think this is actually Hungary, right? Um, It's either Hungary or Romania. I think Romania sometimes has the yellow borders around the crossing times. So, so let's see about this language here. No, that's definitely Hungarian. So let's go in. I think Budapest is actually a really good shout here. Hopefully he hasn't worked it out. I mean, like sometimes these Hungarian rounds can be quite hard. It does say HU there, so he does get Budapest as well. Not not really a surprise. I was a little bit blind in that round, but hey, I mean, it's, uh, it's not a bad result. At least we uh, didn't guess in um, Romania or something. But okay, next one here is going to be like Lagos, I would say, unless it's like somewhere in Kenya or something. No, it is going to be Lagos. Uh, we have the blue on the left-hand side, so it can't be Lagos then, I don't think. So maybe I will go in um, Ibadan or would it be like some, something something in like this kind of area here, I think. And it was actually Abuja. Okay, there you go. It was Abuja. I, I really should have gotten that, but it is significant damage at least so okay the next one here we'll hopefully finish it off this round it should be somewhere in guess i guess mexico because of the short play yeah okay we could actually lose the game here we have to be careful i'm actually not too sure where i think i'm just gonna hedge central because i could see this being northern or southern i feel like it's kind of coastal and it definitely says mexico so he actually has the chance to knock me out here i'm gonna go up here though i could see this being anywhere oh Cancun, no well, that's it, is it? No way, bro. 3.5 times damage? No! Not losing to that guy, bro. He sucks. Oh my gosh. Well, well played, dude. Uh, two, 20 points damage. That's so painful. I can't believe it, bro. I should have taken a bit more time there, but did it say it must have said Cancun somewhere? That's so tilting. But okay, uh, whatever. We take a loss there on the game number two. Okay, so next one here, we uh, do appear to be in like Eastern Europe here. I thought Albania off the bat, so I might just go for that. I think I'll just go for Albania here. I'm like, the first rounds are kind of boring because like nothing too much can happen if you know the continent, I feel. Um, but we could be wrong here. Maybe this is like a Czechoslovak poll, actually. So maybe we should have probably gone in Slovakia. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Ends up being in Montenegro, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, so we do a bit of damage here, not too bad. 700 points, his Croatia guess is okay though. Uh, and so, next one here, looks like a Hungarian round if I've ever seen one, I would say. Uh, yeah, this is Hungary for sure, right? I've got a bit of German here, which is interesting, but this is definitely Hungary. Um, so I wonder why this, uh, this uh, what does it say? It's like a furniture, Luta. I wonder what a Luta is. Could not really say why this is here, but I guess they were moving furniture to Bulgaria. It does end up being over there. So a nice little plonk by our friend here. And so we actually do lose a bit of points there. It's very pleased about that one. Okay, round number three here. Uh, this one looks like Russia, although I was just saying that because of the crossing signs here. It's not Russia at all. Uh, we have quite a bit of German, I would say. So maybe this is actually somewhere in Austria. No, it can't be Austria with that crossing sign, right? So, so why do we keep on seeing German in non-German countries? Or is that not German at all? It's not German at all. Is it uh, Lithuania or something? I guess Lithuania could make sense here. I'm actually not so sure about the country here. I should have spent longer actually looking at what it is, but uh, okay, we'll go Vilnius here. Don't really feel too convinced about that. It's 
Hungry. Terrible guess there. I don't know why the uh, a lot of the words seem to end in AS or something, so I thought it might be Lithuania. Bro, I'm not playing my best today, but that's okay. Just, don't, just tilt it after that Cancun guess, for real. Okay, this one's somewhere in South Africa. Again, we, this could be bad. This could be bad. I'll probably just go... This could be Cape Town, to be honest. Maybe I go Durban. It's very dry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll just go Johannesburg here, but I could really see Cape Town as well. It's like these urban rounds in South Africa. We got hills in the background. That's not really good. I, that's not really good. Yeah, it's Cape Town. Ah, if we were standing here, I could get Cape Town easily, but fortunately he does the same thing. So we could have really gone out there almost, but uh, we don't, which is good. We need the healing more than he does. So let's see if we can get a good score here. We're near Basel on a big interchange. It kind of goes east to west. So I feel like this is doable kind of, uh, well, I guess, I guess this big intersection here kind of works, but I'm thinking more so that. And then Basel was over there to our east. So where I've clicked seems to work here. I think I'll go for that. So it does end up being a little bit further over. So that's a fine result. 1.2K and then we move to 4.5K health, which is good. Okay, so next one here, UK is it or something like that. Yeah, it should be the United Kingdom indeed. Uh, I'm thinking it's fairly southern, so I might just go Birmingham here. I can see London or Birmingham being good options elsewhere. Also makes sense, but those two were my top choice here. Let's see if we see any language clues here. Red Acre or Ridge Acre. So it ends up being Birmingham indeed. We both get it. Bit of uh, Tom Davies uh, mission across the city kind of vibes for Birmingham there. Uh, next one here is double damage and we should be somewhere in Bhutan here. We go extremely quickly and hope that he doesn't realize. Um, but yeah, this should be a fairly easy Bhutan with the concrete blocks on the side of the road uh, and the red number plate as well. So this is surely unfailable, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it isn't. Um, he fails it. Okay, there we go. Double damage. We'll take him out. Chilean guess does make sense with the white car, I have to say, but yeah, obviously it was always going to be tough. So there we go. 14 points. We made back our loss just about. Well, let's head back into another the game here which is going to be against the same guy okay feel good about that and we immediately start with a tough round here this could be a lot of points on offer and i'm not sure where it is i must say uh, let's take a look around i want to say uh where's the sun so the sun this time I mean, more so to the north so southern hemisphere huh we sure about that what about if we point it south yeah it is more southern hemisphere i'd say so send it galapagos islands or you know i might just try madagascar i'll try madagascar because i feel like he'll guess there and then if it actually is there it was actually Cambodia. You know, I thought that looked most like Cambodia, but I trusted the sun too much. So it was kind of midday anyway. I should always say what I'm feeling more so because then I can, it just sounds cheap if I say I thought of it, but I did think of Cambodia there. It was that red soil, but it didn't quite look Brazilian. Uh, this uh, is maybe Slovakia, I think, or Czechia. Can't actually tell which. Might just go for Slovakia here. Do we have any house numbers? Yeah, that looks like the Slovakian place names, I think. So I'll just go there. But yeah, still early days. So shouldn't be too many points on offer here. Uh, it does say Poland there. That's why I guess on the border but presumably this place is definitely findable somewhere along this border it does end up being in slovakia okay and not a bad not a bad result at all just nine points of damage here so very low scoring game after the first two rounds and it will continue to be that because we are here in singapore so it really means that the uh the healing round is quite um obsolete at this point because singapore obviously no damage is going to be done and we're both going to be sitting near 6,000 health at the uh at the fifth round i imagine so there we go just uh just 16 points of damage there okay we have an easy kyrgyzstan here and i'm thinking bishkek i am it ends up being bishkek indeed and we get exactly the same distance away so this is going to be the most useless healing round of all time uh, and so we may as well just click in the middle of the ocean here because uh we, we don't have anything to heal neither does he this is obviously new zealand i would say now whereabouts this could be south island you know i don't hate south island here but i guess the vegetation feels more north island so maybe it's just there and uh so it was just near auckland there and we both uh he didn't even know or maybe he was just trolling like i was but okay we both go to full health here obviously uh, no biggie there and now we move on to the real stuff this is going to be somewhere in argentina i feel like this is good for us i feel like this is good for us it feels fairly northern rg it could even be peru i'm actually a little worried that it is peru here so sun is to the south yes we go northern peru here yeah sun is definitely to the south that's interesting so i guess it has to be up there what does it say on these signs here? Uh, have I missed anything like obvious here or something like that? I think I'm right with the uh, region here, but we'll see. The pole drops definitely looked uh, Argentina off the bat, but a lot of the times Peru and Argy use similar signage and it does end up being all the way up on the equator like that. And that's why the sun was a bit of bait there, but he still gets uh, Peru, which is a good job. It's looking to be somewhere in Europe. Whereabouts though? Southern Europe somewhere. Red roofs, okay? I can see 
just like a southern Romania being a good hedge here, just because it is so dry. Okay, I think I'll just go for that. I'm worried about Spain. I'm worried about Spain here, but hopefully there's no language if you go down the road here. So let's see what we what, he, what we would have seen, because this is probably the obvious way to go towards the city. Um, I don't feel great about the guess. Yeah, it actually ends up being in Slovenia there, just near uh, Italy, so that does make sense. Romania guess is also fine from him. I don't know if you'd see that many red roofs over there, so I guess we're a bit lucky to get away with that one unscathed, but okay. Next one is it, um, sun is to the, ah, it's not really usable again, is it? I think this is, uh, Cambodia. Well, I'm just gonna go quickly here to survive. I actually don't know if this is Cambodia at all, to be honest, but yeah, hopefully there's no language clues this way. Um, I could see elsewhere as well, for sure. I don't know how I feel about this guess. It has to be like one of the hilliest regions of Cambodia, but the red soil would seem to fit, so it is just Indonesia. That makes a lot more sense. Um, Southern Sulawesi, definitely a tough round, but, uh, hey, I mean, it was, it was, it was definitely tough from our initial perspective, so, uh, yeah, this one's Ireland, and I think we go really quickly here, because the chevrons, I'm gonna guess, up north, where there's a bit more killiness, a bit more Gen 2 as well, probably as well, so, yeah, this is not a hard round if you know your chevrons. If you don't know your chevrons, definitely a tougher one, um, but hopefully he goes UK and we take it out here. We'll see. We'll see about that. And so it does end up being Ireland. He guesses in the middle of everywhere and uh, it ends up being Southern. So I only do a tiny bit of damage here, unfortunately. <laughs> kind of funny, but we move on to 3.5 times damage here. This is a little bit tough. We're in we're in Vienna. Okay. The classic, the classic uh, world map round. It, the, the city of Vienna is possibly the favorite place of the whole of the GeoGuessr world map. It just places you in Vienna an ungodly amount of times for whatever reason. And so he'll definitely get it unless he doesn't know that Wien is, uh, is German for Vienna, but assume he would right? And he does, of course. And so, you know, we're going to take a little bit of damage off him here, but this one's turning out to be a very grueling match. A whole bunch of easy, easy rounds, and then just a couple of hard ones, which we both failed as well. And so this one should be somewhere in Mexico. Don't tell me I lose on Mexico again. Well, it's definitely Mexico, though. I'd say this one's a bit further north. Yeah, this one has to be northern. So I don't think we lose here, but I really hope we don't. I would be kind of tilted if we do. Uh, this guess should be fine. I think it is kind of this area here, but I could also see it being near Tijuana, which would be disastrous. Fortunately, not really so confident about that. Sun is to the south, so we're definitely Mexico, not um, Ecuador. Oh, oh, oh no, that's quadruple damage. That's, oh, what? We lose on that again? Oh, I can't believe it. Why did I not consider? I saw the yellow number plate, bro, and we lose 19. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I keep losing to these bad players on high damage rounds in South America, bro. I'm just not switched on today. Not enough sleep, bro. Oh, that's my excuse. Okay, so next one, Northern Hemisphere. Where are we? Taiwan? I'm actually not so sure here. What? Why don't we have any proper language? We have European going on in that there. Is this actually Europe? Why do we have a banana tree here? I think it's actually just Asia, right? These, these apartments don't feel like anywhere in Europe to me. We don't have like a Taiwanese poles either. So what is this? Why am I not thinking straight? We've got a generation four car. It's to the south, but definitely Northern Hemisphere. It is Asian architecture. Okay, so it has to be Taiwan here. I don't know. This is just a weird round though. It doesn't like, we don't have the Taiwanese things on the bottom of the poles here. I mean, no doubt he'll probably find them down the road, but. Hong Kong, that makes so much more sense. Rural Hong Kong is liable to catch you out a lot of the time, I feel. Bit, bit of a strange one. More boring Singapore. They should just remove Singapore from the Jung's map, bro. It's so easy to recognize and it's so few points available. Like it's just, it's just not fun. Um, But okay, we got the double yellow lines. We got the black and white uh, curb. Definitely, definitely. Singapore here. And also this font on the uh, street signs here is very Singaporean as well, only really used there. And so being all the way near the bridge to Johor there. And so we do a little bit of damage. Moving on to round three. I can't believe I lost that game, bro. I was, like, that's a, that's the problem with guessing quickly as well. Yeah, it wasn't actually that hard of a round. Oh, he didn't even get anywhere close. That's so tilting. Next one here. Um, is it uh, Andorra? I don't think so. Is it Jay? It should be just Italy here. I, think. I think that's an Italian speed sign. Kind of like uh, this font is looking Italian to me, I think. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, a bit of Italian language as well here. So maybe this se series is going to take longer than I thought if I keep on making these silly mistakes, especially with this really nice guess here. But yeah, another another 1.1k damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I just really hate losing to bad players, especially when I'm actually trying to like move up in the in the ranks. Like, I guess I shouldn't call them bad because if they're beating me, they can't be too bad. But because this one is somewhere in Eswatini, definitely an Eswatini landscape with the red dirt and whatnot. It's kind of a strange round though, I would say. So I'm wondering, could I be wrong? Um, I don't think so. I think that is an Eswatini number there. I'm just wondering where in the country this would be. Ends up being, yeah, yeah, ends up being the Rustenburg. Okay, so that was the... Uh, Definitely an Eswatini looking South Africa, but it does make sense that I was wrong there. Um, and so just like a really hilly region, more than you'd expect. Okay, this looks like a type of uh, round I could have done a lot of damage on, but unfortunately it's uh, it's not really gonna be usable here. I'm gonna say we're in Sulawesi, could be anywhere nearby there, yeah. That is really unfortunate. It was Sulawesi, obviously that's a that's a knockout on any other round, but unfortunately it's just the healing round where we get uh, the really high damage and he is just, he is just on the wrong con, oh gosh. 
That really annoys me. Obviously, he was on full health, so he didn't really need to go for a good guess. But okay, so I'm just gonna go near Ankara here. I'm really bad at turkeys. So hopefully, we just survive. Ends up being not a terrible guess there, so not 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 bad. No, but let's hope for some hard rounds where he's not gonna know and I will. Obviously, that's what you always hope for. But okay, we got yellow rear plate here. This will be Colombia, I guess. Yeah, we're not gonna lose on Colombia again here. This time we're going straight for Bogota. Didn't really even look at the round here, but I think it is Bogota or Medellin, one of the two. Surely it's a big city here. Yeah, I guess we'll see it soon. I think I've had this round before. It's kind of rare to get a world map repeat, but it ends up being in Cucuta or Su. I don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. So a little bit of damage. Guys, we just need something really difficult here. We can instantly guess and go for it. That insane score. This one is not maybe one of those rounds. It is Thailand though. So I think I just go a little bit north of Bangkok here. I guess this being all the way north as well, which is unfortunate now that I've guessed, but I think my guess should still be decent here. Yeah, I'm worried about all the way north now. I don't think I'm worried about all the way south, but with this dirt, we shouldn't be too far away. Down, generally speaking, get that like red dusty dirt nearby there. It was all the way north, but he goes in Philippines. So that should be the game right there. 6,000 damage. Well, he played really well that time, but unfortunately he goes down. So we gained back a lot of what we lost. And so we have to end this episode above where we started. My gosh, I can't believe um how some of these have gone, but um, okay, let's go for one more here for the episode. Or sure, well, at least one more win. I can't, I can't end it on a loss. I want to face someone hard and beat them here. That's, that's really when I want it to happen. And it is easily doable. I just need the right rounds. Okay, I got my wish. We are facing Cheeto here, who's 1,000 plus rated and with a high rating as well, I believe. So we got, we got, we got to try. So the next one is looking like Italy, I would say, short number plates. I'm gonna go fairly like central here. Let's just go like, like in this kind of area here. Hopefully with the pressure on, this should be, like it's, it's, it's unfortunate in these urban ones because you can easily just go for, for a little bit of a search, find this street sign. And yeah, but we're actually closer, which is good. So a fairly good guess from Cheeto here. I, I, I anticipate really nice guesses from a player this high ranked, but to be fair, he is um, he is maybe less experienced based on the badge around his profile picture. Okay, this one should be somewhere in Lithuania. Definitely prefer Lithuania to anywhere, anything else with this architecture. I could still see a, um, a Ukraine being possible, but it was Lithuania. That's good. He goes Estonia. So the Vilnius guess will net us 685 points. That's a good start. So immediately now feeling good on this game. This could be our our biggest ever win, to be honest. Okay, so we have some Korean language here. This I'm just gonna go, mm, maybe we'll go Southern actually. Let's see here. We may actually have, a, I've got a Thai restaurant here, but we may actually have something in the way of a big clue. Oh, it's a big building there. I still like Southern. I still think it's quite green. <gasps> no, I can't believe that, bro. Oh my gosh, I did not just do that. I'm so angry, bro. Okay, let's try and win it. Um, what have we got here? USA, it's not what I wanted to see, bro. Centra spelt the Canadian way. This should be, is it BC? It's BC, surely, with this elevation. Oh my gosh, lacking front plates on some of these. What is that, Quebec flag? Okay, this has to be Montreal. Good, 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 good. We can do big damage here. We can do big damage here if he misses it, but it's probably got French everywhere. Oh, it's so annoying. This has probably got French everywhere, doesn't it? Yes, oh my gosh. Dude. He doesn't get it though, wow. Um, I can't believe I did that on that tie round. Okay, we at least survived to the healing round here. That's good. At least I didn't go um, British Columbia or something. Uh, this is not a bad healing round either. We can we can bring it back. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We can bring it back. This is uh, Finland. It's fairly southern. I'm actually gonna say we're near Helsinki here. I'm gonna go for the maximum points. If this is northern, I'll look silly, but pretty sure these trees feel relatively southern at least. Somewhere in this like kind of the blob area of Finland. Oh my gosh, how did I guess, how did I guess Korea on that Thailand? I do not know, but we're up to 2.5K. He guesses the same as us. I'm feeling good. And we are gifted with a bit of a Western Europe round here. Probably feels like Belgium to me. Yeah, it's actually Netherlands, but I'm just gonna guess near the Belgian border. Um, put him into bat pretty quickly here. Yeah, it has to be, it has to be uh, Netherlands. I, unless this is a really weird like a Luxembourg, but it's not. I mean, with all that brick architecture, it was always gonna be Netherlands and we, we lose a bit of points, but nothing huge because if, if he was close there, it would have been bad, but it wasn't. Okay, this one looks like Philippines to me immediately. Um, it's actually gonna be US and probably Northern Mariana Islands, right? Yeah. And so let's go straight in for that. Wait, 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 do we have front plates? We do, good. And so Northern Mariana Islands, we're gonna go somewhere in the main city here, I think. And whew, far out. Why do we have front license plates there? Oh my gosh. I checked one car and it's got front license plates. You're kidding me. None of the other ones do, oh my gosh. 
you guys get to see some zigzag tilt here. I cannot believe that. I was like, when I said I'll start this series, I'm like, it's so easy, bro. Like, if I, but if I made it to 1,000 on no even panning or zooming, how hard can it be? I'll probably make top 10 really quickly. But, ah, oh, dude, if you're not playing well, if you just make small mistakes and hate losing the play. Okay, here, we're facing an 800 rated player to finish off the video. Maybe a bit of an anti-climax. Let's just, uh, let's just take him out pretty easily here, I say. So this one will be a nice and easy hungry. We got a tall Hungarian sign. Sometimes Hungarian signs are a little bit smaller and taller than, than you see in other countries. So it's a good little clue. But guys, I think, I think I just got to take more time and consider my guesses more. A lot of these uh, big losses have come from me guessing a little bit too quickly, a bit too hastily. Obviously, the, the downside to that is that you let your opponent find signs, but especially on any rural round, I've got to slow down. I think that's really got to be the tactic here. Got to think about a bit more about what I'm going to do. So this one should be like Scalicia or something like that, I would say, based on the architecture. Um, could it ever be France? Yeah, but we have a lot of red roofs. I really want to move and see the end of that pole, but pretty sure this is just Spain somewhere. Um, yeah, I guess so just northern, right? Someone has to be somewhere in here if it's not if it's not France or Portugal. I'll just go for that. Oh, we got a wooden pole. Maybe I actually like Portugal better here. Oh, well, let's just guess close to the Portuguese border. Ends up being in Bilbao. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And so it's going to be a little bit of damage for him, but the BMS starts nicely. Um, I think urban rounds guess quickly and put the pressure on. Obviously, there's lots of signage as well, but around like this, we can take our time, think about it. Should be somewhere in Malaysia or Indonesia. I think I may actually go Indonesia here, although it's kind of a hard decision to make here. May actually still just go Malaysia here, but right next to uh, Sumatra and uh, maximize points that way. And so I actually was in Madan. He goes for Indonesia, gets the correct country, but uh, my guess was a little bit better, of course. So a bit of a hedge pays off here. This one should be in Thailand and whereabouts though? Uh, fairly Northern, I wanna say. I wanna say this is fairly Northern, although I'm actually not entirely sure. So I think my guess will be like somewhere in this region here, like between Vientiane and Chiang Mai is probably where I'd vibe for this one. We'll see though. Ends up being southern, so not the best guess. Uh, fortunately, we didn't go all the way north, and uh, there's no multipliers, so it's not disastrous for us. Healing around now, let's see what we got going on. And so this one should be somewhere in Europe, and uh, we're near full health here, so I think if I just slam it in Hungary, we should get enough points to go to full. So we got another sign that's tall. This is gonna be, this is gonna be Hungary, is it? Although we have a red, we have double blue number plate, so maybe it's Italy. I think it's Italy, actually. Um, regardless, it was in Italy, and we are gonna go to basically full health here. Yep, we're going to full health, so that's fine. He goes, France, so not too bad at all. Okay, 1.5 times damage now. Let's see what we got going on, what we're cooking with. Uh, it should be somewhere in Holland Islands or something like that here. Either that or, or uh, Sweden. I'm gonna go for Holland Islands based on the blue, uh, based on the red roads, but also this language feels a little bit Finnish maybe. Um, it's a bit strange at least. Um, anyway, we'll be somewhere in Sweden or there, and so I'm um, feeling like going for that, and it does end up being in Sweden, so his lap guess is not terrible, but 1.5 times damage is 1.5k damage. Double damage now, we are somewhere in, I would say Bolivia here, over over Peru. Yeah, I would say Bolivia here with this wooden pole, and so maybe Cochabamba area probably makes the most sense here. Let's go Oru, and uh, hopefully it's somewhere from Sucre to La Paz, and he goes in Peru or something like that. That would be ideal, and uh, we could finish off the video on high. Um, um, but I don't really see it being a Peru here. It does end up being Cockabamba. Was my first thought, but he goes for a nice guess as well, so I have to respect that. And so hopefully I don't choke on the high multis here. That's what really been happening. I, I can't say like anyone's really been out guessing me too much this video, but it's always been the high multis where I go too quickly and then it all falls apart. And so this one should be somewhere in Croatia, I thought, right? Or is that something else? Okay, this is the type of round we can slow down a little bit. Is that a Bulgarian pole? Yeah, that's a Bulgarian pole. Okay, so I, I forgot that Bulgaria like does sometimes have those bollards like that. So let's go there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Bulgarian pole. Maybe it, maybe there are similar ones elsewhere, but yeah, you don't, Bulgaria is like a strange country because you don't really see too many bollards over there. I feel like the uh, guardrail does fit as well. And yeah, it, actually, it is actually North Macedonia. Okay, that, that makes sense, yeah? And so we do, oh man, he's only on 18 health. If he lost here, it would be a tragedy. Hopefully it's an easy round, not a hard one. Uh, it does seem like a relatively easy round, but losable still. Yes, yeah, this one should be somewhere in Portugal. That's that's not too bad for us. I think we just go Southern here. Feels a bit dry. And uh, yeah, we should win the game here, I imagine. Unless he pulls out a nice guess. So, uh, there we go, we win it. Uh, Lisbon area it was, and uh, a bit of a disastrous video in a way, um, but I, I hope you guys still enjoyed watching it. I mean, I think we uh, end where exactly where we started or something like that, um, and uh, that is not what I expected, to be honest. I thought this would be a romp home, but guys, I um, hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Obviously, next video, we're coming back through with the tactics. We're going to be thinking well about where we go and all that kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it should be fun. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.